Hey guys, it's Justine. In episode one, you learned all about me, so I'm taking to the streets in Union Square to learn all about you. Okay, so we are here with Simon, who we are interrupting before he's about to have his lunch. I'm sorry about that. Would okay. you mind telling us, what are you gonna be having today? I'm having a turkey avocado sandwich. I love avocado. You know, yes. recently I spilled some on a brand new outfit. It was very upsetting to me. Okay. Have you ever spilled avocado on yourself? I have, actually. Yeah. So anyway, tell me, what is your favorite guilty pleasure food? So late at night, you can have anything you want. What are you going to eat? Uh, steak, probably. Steak. How do you like your steak cooked? I uh, like it medium rare. Medium rare? Yeah, but it has to be a little fatty, a ribeye or something. Yeah, so it has you and some I flavor are, to it. You and I are very similar, yeah, Simon. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for being with us. Hello there. All right, so we have to ask you, what is your favorite guilty pleasure food? Lobster ravioli. Yum. Where do you like to get lobster ravioli? Do you have a place you love it from? Yeah. Um, the crab restaurant. What's it called? Uh, oh, uh, the, uh, City, City Crab. crab. Yeah. City Crab. Have you ever gone for their happy hour? Yes. They have the best deals on wine and, and appetizers and seafood. Yeah. Best place ever. We'll be going there later today, Lisa and I. Do you work out? I do. What's your favorite workout? Swimming. Swimming. Yeah. I used to be a swimmer. But Simon, uh, we are really like meant to be. Swimming. Sorry, I know your girlfriend's over here. Okay. All right. It's my wife. Oh, your wife? Yeah. Even, Just in another better. world. In another world. Better. Eric, where are you visiting from? Uh, from the Netherlands. The Netherlands? That's a long trip. What are you here for? Yes. Uh, visiting my girlfriend, actually. Oh, <laughs> yeah. wow. Love is in the air today in Union Square. Sure. Okay, so swimming, anything else? Uh, yoga. Yoga. Mm -hmm. So I don't work out at all. Mm -hmm. Do you think I could handle yoga? Yeah, of course. You can you compete against yourself. Get better and better and better. So. I'm never going to do that. No? I'm, just, I'm just being honest. It's never going to happen. Drew, do you happen to know Drew from 98 Degrees? I've heard of him, I've never met him, but he's an Andrew, he's not just Drew. Do you know that for sure? Yes. Do you like 98 Degrees? I like a certain amount of their songs, but not, uh, uh, yeah, sir. I love that you just admitted that, by the way. So, would you go to a 98 Degrees concert? No. 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 Okay, no. so that's where, we draw the, that's where we draw the line. Have you ever watched the Twilight movies? No. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have, and they are Wonderful. Okay. Simon, I just want to tell you, since we have so much in common, uh -huh. you would love okay. Twilight. Tell me, how do you feel about vampires? Vampires? Well, maybe, maybe sexy. Ah, you know, maybe. Sexy and dangerous go yes, together, don't yes. they? Yeah. So we are here with my old friend, Emily. So it just so happens to turn out in this humongous city that we have actually met yeah, each other before. before. Where do you work? I work for HowIAsked.com. It's an engagement and proposal website. People share the story of how they met and fell in love, and Aww. then they share it with their friends and family, and people cry over it. It's a nice love story. So you like to make people cry? In a good way. It's happy crying. I'm just going to say, I'm not just saying this, I love to cry. I feel like I cry constantly. You feel better after. Yeah, I cried just the other day at some commercial. Anyway, we're not, we're not <laughs> talking about that. What do you love about New York? You never really get bored around here because there's always something new that's happening, whether it's a crazy person running down the street naked or somebody dancing or somebody playing guitar, especially here. This is like Union Square is really a diverse kind of place. A lot of people think because 46th Street has all these lights and they've seen dancers in some movies on 46th Street that that's where it's at, but it's not. You need a permit to dance on the street or you will get arrested. So, Do you have a permit? I saw you dancing. I'm not going to turn you in. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what are your thoughts on McDonald's? I like McDonald's. I love McDonald's. I, I love McDonald's. I don't eat McDonald's food. What do you eat at McDonald's? Chicken, um, like the chicken wraps. The snacks. That's it. What are your thoughts on vampires? Does that, have Does that have vodka in it? I mean, usually when I take pictures or when people see me, they think I could be a vampire in a movie or something. I love you even more. Not a Twilight fan. No, never seen it. All right. Agree to disagree. Right. What do you love about New York City? I love that I can come out of my house at like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and find a store open. You can find a Sprite. A little Sprite. But <laughs> Who do we got down here? This is Remy. Hi, Remy. Hi. What do you love about New York? Oh, I love you too, Remy. And do you have a word that people have told you you happen to say this word a lot? Like people have noticed you say this word a lot. Yeah, I tell people to shut up all the time. <laughs> well, I'm happy you didn't tell me to shut up. Thanks, Drew. <laughs> so what are the top three things that we learned today? 
One, nobody eats as much as me. Can you believe that, a snack wrap? Come on. Two, apparently nobody likes Twilight or really even vampires for that matter. And three, I will probably never begin exercising, not even simple yoga. Top three. That's what we're gonna go through next week, my top threes. And we're gonna keep them a secret until then. See you guys later.